Hey everyone, it's Jeff Salzenstein from JeffSalzensteinTennis.com and I've got a fun video for you today regarding warming up for matches now, or even for practice. Now there are many ways you can do this. You can come out and do a dynamic warm up, you can uh, stretch, you can, uh, there's a lot of things you can do basically. And today I want to talk about mini tennis. Now a lot of people, they, they play short court, they come out and they, they do their little short court and I think that's great but I want to take it to a whole nother level, another dimension with what is possible and how you can maximize your short court or your mini tennis. And the first thing that I want to show you today is that I want you to start with all slice. So you're going to see me do lots of slice warming up, but not the type of slice where you're cutting at the ball like this. The type of slice where you're controlling the ball on your racket. So you're going to see my racket work where I'm controlling the ball, kind of caressing the ball, feeling it. Then you're also going to see the next section where I work on topspin and I really work on swinging slowly with relaxed hands. And again, this is developing your feel. So it's not about just coming out and kind of swinging and poking at the ball. There's a real purpose to what I'm trying to do. So the first section is going to be about using slice, but the slice where you feel the ball. And the second section is about hitting topspin on both sides, again, where you feel the ball. Now notice the third component of this video is the footwork. I have, a, I have a system where I teach specific footwork patterns, the way that the pros move and the way that rec players can move too. It doesn't matter what your level is. Notice how I'm going to be using different footwork patterns, sometimes open stance, sometimes hopping, which I call lift and land, sometimes a switch pattern, which you might be able to notice in there where I kind of jump back and switch feet. Better does this very, very well. You'll see something called a run through, karaoke. You're going to see all these footwork patterns and you can practice it while you're playing mini tennis. Too often times I see players just standing there and they're just kind of like not even really moving. There's not a lot of action going on. So I'm going to go through that right now and you're going to get a chance to see uh, how I do these different drills with my mini tennis. Yep. So you can see I'm feeling the ball, I'm using karaoke. There's my lift and land. Again, there's my run through. I'm moving through it. Okay, I do it again. Okay, open stance. So you can notice I'm, I'm using all the footwork patterns. I switched my feet there. I hop there. So I'm getting a great workout as I'm feeling the ball on my strings. I'll even try to get a backhand here. Notice I, use, I hold the finish on the backhand there. Karaoke, Johnny Mac right there, a little Johnny Mac special, jump through. Good. So again, that's a great workout. I'm working on my footwork patterns and I'm working on my slice and my feel. Now we're going to go into the same thing with topspin at this, at this time. See how soft the hands are. Even at the end, you can see I'm almost letting go and relaxing my hands when I hit the backhand. Again, this is a good way. It's not easy, believe me. It's even it's challenging for me to even do it, to be able to hit it soft and feel the ball without overhitting. There's my switch pattern. You see Federer use that, moving through it. Lots of different things going on here. So that should give you some insight into how I can take something so simple as mini tennis or short court and really taking it to another level, improving, working on my feel. So go ahead and get out on the courts and try that. I'd love to hear how that goes for you. Love to get that feedback. And uh, we'll see you over at JeffSalzenstein Tennis.com sometime. Thanks again. Bye-bye.